Hello, YouTube. It's Trevor Bunnies. Guess where I went today? Can you tell I'm in Halloween gear in July? What does that mean? Bath and Body Works Halloween haul. So I went the day it opened. There was a Halloween pre release party in my area. It was just, you know, come look at the Halloween stuff and here's a cupcake. But let's go. So I got a lot of cute stuff and yeah. I'll show you it, tell you about it, and let's look at it. All right, please like, share, and subscribe. So, I got a whole bunch of hand sanitizers and two hand sanitizer holders this year. A lot of you know, but I stick them on my Loungefly Halloween bags and then use them, you know, during the season and try to mix them with the bag that it goes with. So, I got another pumpkin spice latte um, hand sanitizer this year. It's cute. It looks like it's got like the like coffee and caramel and pumpkin spice going on. And then I'll show you hand sanitizer. This one is fruit squeeze. I got a whole bunch of Halloween ones, but that one, but that one. And look how cute that's gonna be. And then the next one it glows in the dark. My cousin actually is the one that showed me this first. It says I light up and glow in the dark. See if I can get it on. There's like an on switch button. So here it is glowing. Ooh. It's not pretty. It's a gypsy um, ball with hands with nails. She's wearing rings. Super cute. Super cute. This ring is a bat. And this one has a fake gym. So that's another hand sanitizer. And I'll put in a ghoul friend. Yeah. So then next, I'll just go over the rest of the hand sanitizers so then we can move on. So we've got two of the vampire blood with that stained glass imagery. Afternoon apple picking. It looks all like 80s, which I thought was super cute. This one, which is a fall one. This is champagne apple honey. Two of those. That's a returning one. All these are for the most part. A moonlit graveyard is new and it smells like blueberries, patchouli, and then maybe like a amber cedar kind of smell. Pear vanilla and blackberry um, basil. Two of those and then two of the ghoul friend and then that that lemon squeeze or fresh squeeze, whatever that was. And then, so I got the new candle this year. This is Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. Look at that imagery on there. Looks all 60s, yet still modern. It smells really good. It smells like blueberries. I would still say that the blueberry pancake smells better, but still, this is cute. I love the pumpkin candle lid. Then I did get one more candle and it is pumpkin carving. That's a returning smell. This is beautiful. I'm gonna keep this jar after it burns. This is gonna be pretty stained glass. I don't wanna light it yet, but I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like with that stained glass. See how pretty? Like that is gorgeous. It's gonna be so nice. Ah, I can't wait. I wanna light it though closer to time. Closer to time. And I wouldn't mind taking this to Salem as well when I'm there. So I'm All right, so hand soap, let's go. So we've got vampire blood. Look at how pretty the stained glass church look. Perfect pumpkin, it's returning, returning and it does have a spider up there too with that black cat. I didn't see the body wash or anything for that. I don't know if they're doing that or not this year. My store didn't have it. Moon lit graveyard. Just love that crow. More of that stained glass. Wicked vanilla woods. I didn't see anything but hand soap for that too. Then this same thing. Um, spell binding sweets with this ghost. Just the hand sanitizer and and hand soap. Then pumpkin apple, the fall scent. Then another fall one, 
raspberry green tea that's an acorn. It's really rare to find acorn stuff at Bath & Body Works, even though that's really popular, especially for, you know, like cottage core, fairy core, that kind of thing. Um, they did have the pumpkin pecan waffle. Blech. It's that scent that we always talk about on my channel that came out in 2020. But they were trying to make a pumpkin spice and they made what is now dubbed as the COVID smell. Oh, it's horrible. Horrible. They have that and that's what that smells like. So I avoided that. That was the other fall scent. Then I got this cool guy, which I'm going to show at the end. He is a vampire or headless horseman. He has a gym. A spider, a rose, a blood rose. Um, he has buttons that are metal there, the white foofy Asgard, and this is all like fake velvet. He's very dashing vampire kind of guy, but what's cool is he displays a jack-o'-lantern on the wall. So he's kind of gonna look like the headless horseman or still a vampire, and he has a plug-in. So you can have a scent that'll go right here. Oh, I don't know where I'm gonna put him. He looks so fun though. <laughs> and I wanna see him plugged in because they didn't have that there if I'm plugged in. So then next, we have some body wash. I didn't get lotion because I have way too much lotion. <sighs> that could take me like 10 years, so. I gotta not not get lotion for a bit. <laughs> so vampire blood returning. Just love that imagery, that vampire look there. Blood dripping from the rose. One tiny little cobweb up top. Love the black and red soap top there. We don't ever get that. That's just ugh, love that. I have two of those. Then these were new, so I got these. Midnight Spell, a little bit of a shimmer there. Roses, this has Mystic Air, Moonlit Woods, Crystal Amber. And it's very, I don't wanna say like guy-like, but it definitely has like a male kind of cologne, kind of empowering. Um, I like it though, it has aloe plus vitamin E. This isn't something that I would use like all the time though, I have to be in the mood. And then I've got Everlasting Magic. So we've got this mirror, cobwebs, and gems again. And this one has the Jeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. The musk is the thing that I'm not too big at. Like, I'm not too involved with that. But you really don't smell it that bad. You smell the berries and kind of like a pear scent. So the musk is at the end. I'll have to see what it's like when I'm in the shower though. Then there was stuff still left over at my store from the 75% off annual sale. And I was able to get four soaps and it's in two different kinds. So I'll show that. And then I also just got plain, plain Jane, um, lavender, this spray, hand sanitizer. <laughs> so that's what I got this year. But yeah, let's go. So the three of these, lavender, antibacterial, hand spray, can't go wrong because then people don't complain when you got vanilla or lavender. So I use that around my friends that just are weird about smells. <laughs> and then two of these, cucumber melon. And two of these, juniper breeze. I bet this doesn't come back. And if it does, it's going to be like 10 years from now. But I think it smells so good and fresh and kind of bouncy and kind of like a mix between like a fruit smoothie and like laundry detergent. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like that, but I like it. <laughs> anyway, so two of those. And yeah, that was my haul. I hope you like it. I hope you go fall shopping. I hope you find some cool stuff. I can't wait for the Yankee Candle. I also can't wait for Boney Bunch this year. Last year for Boney Bunch? What? That makes me sad. I have been collecting Boney Bunch since 2009, 2010, something like that. Ugh, so it makes me sad. But even more sad, I think, because most people don't even know that it existed until about like five years ago. 
So I think there would be more people even doing that if they knew Bony Munch was a thing. But so yeah, <laughs> please like, share, and subscribe. Have a spooky fall. I can't wait for it and enjoy the rest of your summer. Bye. Okay, he's super amazing and it's not just the pumpkin. Pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern, and the little rose. Fancy dapper, sir.